Here now is Congressman Peter Roskam, Republican Congressman of Illinois and House Ways and Means Tax Policy Chairman. Sir, thank you so much for joining us. When I hear about what's still being discussed and I hear the issues that anyone involved is willing to lead with, like what we heard just now, it makes me think that those are the points of negotiation. This is the thing I'm willing to give away or this is the thing I'm willing to add. In your mind, what are, what are those points around the edges here right now? Well, start at the core, because at the core is middle income tax relief. Right. At the core is a corporate rate no higher than 20 percent and a pass through rate no higher than 25 percent. And was was previously mentioned, trying to create the best business environment that we possibly can. Everything else is, you know, subject to these large discussions. Once we know that the debt amount that we're able to borrow, that mm -hmm. is 1.5 trillion, that's what it's looking like. Then what you will see is the Ways and Means Committee, the Senate Finance Committee, begin this process of writing to that number. And it looks like that will be the number in all likelihood. And uh -huh. all of these things are now subject of negotiating. This is about adjusting dials right. to come up with a good result. No, and, and I mean, you have a financial audience watching you here, and they certainly understand the equation of how things are made. And what you laid out is the core, and we understand that that's the meat of it that's not going anywhere. And what's around the edges are the idea that is this idea of another bracket, that's a way to collect some more money to make the whole thing balance out if you have to. The other things, I mean, when you talk about um, the, the deduction for state and local taxes, is that another thing that's kind of being pushed back and forth right now, or, or is that definitely going away, or would you say that's another point that's there to create money or to, you know, trade away to somebody who lives in a state that's going to get taxed a lot that is not very happy about what's going on? I'm right in the middle of that discussion because I represent suburban Chicago. So Illinois, California, New York, and New Jersey are states that are particularly sensitive to this. And the point that I've made largely is, look, just to walk away from that and reassign a tax liability from one end of the country to another is not tax reform. What we've got to do is come together, and you've got members of Congress from high-tax states who are coming to the table on this, trying to find a soft landing. And it is, I, from my point of view, I think my constituents are particularly scandalized by the property tax. All right, well, if that's true, then is there a way for us to separate out property taxes from other things? And there's a lot of discussions about this. But one point is you can't have tax reform without reforming the tax code. I mean, mm -hmm. it sounds like a truism, but that means these things have to be on the table. They've got to be readjusted okay. to the point of coming up with something. No, absolutely. And you brought back in the idea of the property tax around that. So are you saying that you would trade in a property tax deduction, but maybe that would phase out at a certain income level? What I'm saying is there's a lot of interest in trying to come up with a soft landing mm -hmm. on this notion of state and local taxes. And my constituents in particular that I'm representing yeah. are particularly scandalized by the property tax. How, so how that's what guys, I'm trying to drive. Yeah. How about you guys spend a whole lot less? What do you think about that? Hey, that's a great idea. <laughs> uh, yeah. that's, that, is, uh, that is worthy. And then you have other states, you know, large states, too, that are sending a lot of money to the federal government. So this yeah. is, you know, sort of the, the well, this is a, a subsidy of red states to blue yeah. states. It doesn't quite fit in the calculation if you look at the outbound flow to the federal taxpayers. But here's the bottom line. Yeah. Nobody likes the status quo. We're at a place that we cannot stay. And we've got a once-in-a-generation opportunity to fix it. Absolutely true, sir. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Thank you.